Hello, welcome to today's video. Um, today we're not learning Finnish because I wanted to rant about this issue. So, um, let's get started from the start. So, I made a League of Legends fan art that I'll put a picture of here. And I put it on my Etsy. Um, to sell it, if someone happened to want to buy it, and you know, I titled it League of Legends fan art or Nami League of Legends fan art A4 size, and that's it, right? Um, yeah. So, when it comes to like copyright things, I know that League of Legends doesn't copyright strike, like Riot doesn't copyright strike fan art because they view it as advertisement, which it is, right? Um, fan art is basically advertisement, especially in, on this kind of scale. Well, I was reading my emails like two weeks ago and I get a copyright infringement notice from Etsy and my League of Legends fan art has been taken down and I'm like okay well did, did Riot claim it? I didn't think they do that. No. There's copyright infringement on behalf of One Piece animations. Now, One Piece has a character called Nami. Let's put it here. Let's put my fan art here. And League of Legends Nami here. Yep. You can see the resemblance. There is no resemblance between these two. There is between these two. It's pretty clear cut. But, let me look quickly from my PC, yeah, I don't know if I can put a screenshot of this email here, so I probably won't, but I basically got an infringement copyright thing, my art was taken down from Etsy, it's um, Toei Animation, Co -O Ltd, on behalf of One Piece Animation, and yeah, I was like, okay, I'm not gonna give a fuck. Like, they took it down, I don't care, I don't have energy to fight this, uh, because I would have to make a counter notice. But then I got another email. So, important. Uh, hey, we're writing to let you know that we placed a reserve on your payment account. Because of this copyright infringement, that was obviously not valid, they set a reserve on my payment account. How is that fair? In any world? Okay, so now I'm like, okay, I guess I need to do a counter notice of the copyright strike on my listing. And I go there and I do a counter notice. I'm like, I need to give all my personal information. I write it all there. I need to swear under the penalty of perjury that I believe, I genuinely believe, that they made a mistake. Why? And then I do this. But no, I can't put my listing back up. And my payment account has not been... returned to normal yet. No, now I need to wait. 10 business days if One Piece Animation is gonna sue me over my League of Legends fan art. 
It's been eight business days. You have two days time to sue me one a piece animation over my League of Legends Nami fan art. Let's see if you'll do that. Anyway, I just wanted to say, I don't really care about my Etsy. I barely sell anything there. Like, I've sold maybe like two drawings. But like, what the fuck? How is this fair to creators and to people who are selling art or items they made? In what world is this system not broken? Yeah, that's that's basically what I wanted to say. Thank you for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I hope I hope One Piece animations won't come and sue you. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.